The next detail that we're going to look at is the installation of the ridge cap. And we're going to look at both vented ridges as well as closed ridges. The section that I have here is vented. We have a two and a half inch opening on either side of the ridge pole. And the first product that we're going to use is the Metallic Vented Z by Snap Z. This is a great product. It has butyl tape, so it has already in factory installed sealant on the bottom. You have venting material, the closer, the foam closer, and you have venting in the metal of the Z trim. So this piece is pre-cut for All American Steel's Lexington panel. There's no cutting involved. You're just going to place it along the marks that you've set from your ridge cap, put a couple of fasteners through it, and then your ridge cap will slide over it and clip into it, which we'll show you in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and install vented snap Z on both of these panels, then we can install the ridge cap over top. Now that the vented snap Z closures have been installed, I can install my ridge cap. You can see here on the ridge that there's a one inch hem, and that one inch hem is going to clip in to the Z. You can see how secure the snap Z is with the ridge cap hemmed into it. Obviously, as I'm installing here on the mock-up for the training videos, it's much easier. I'm working with a small section and I only have the Z trim on one side. When you're doing the installation on an actual project, you can slide it in in segments between each Z, or you can compress the top a little bit and hem it in like that. So there you have the installation of a vented ridge cap using the Snap Z metallic closure. The second vented ridge installation is using a vented foam closure. It's been die cut and it has a factory applied adhesive on the back. So you can cut this with your snips or with an X-Acto knife. I've already pre-cut them. I'm going to remove the backer, install them, and then we can install the ridge cap. I'm setting them about one inch back from the marks that I made from the edge of the ridge cap because I don't want them exposed to the UV. And when someone's looking up at the ridge cap from the ground, I wanna make sure that all they see is a shadow line and not the actual closure. Now I've installed the ridge cap over top of the vented closure using a stitch screw into the rib. Obviously this is a very short section, so there's, there's only one screw, but you would, you would fasten the ridge cap through each rib and into any trim that you needed to. Thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your All-American Steel rep or shoot us a note through social media.